Thank you. Hello. Hello, everyone. We're going to get started soon. Let's see. Okay, it says it's recording. I sure hope so. Let's see here. I am. I can't hear. Does everyone else hear me? Yep. Okay. All right, so we're going to get started here soon. So everyone go ahead and uh, mute yourself. So if you can, or I will go ahead and mute you guys. And mute here. Manage participants. Mute all. Woo, awesome. Okay, we're going to get started now. It's 9 o'clock on the dot. And it says it's recording, so we'll just pray that it's working, okay? So let me see. Pin video. Okay. All right, guys. So we're going to get started here. Thank you guys so much for hopping on. And I know that you guys have busy schedules, so it means so much that you guys decided to um, hop on and join me today. I'm just going to clean this a little. <laughs> um, so thank you guys so much for taking out the time to join me and to learn a little more about how to create some great content um, for your parties and for your Facebook wall. Um, my name is Bethany Reyes. I am a green elite status presenter with Unique, and I've been with Unique a little over two years now, and I can promise you, I did not start out with great content. <laughs> um, I've come a long way in learning how to brand myself and how to create material that is interesting and catches people's attention. Um, so that's what I want to do tonight. Um, so let's see here. A brief picture of my why. Uh, when I first started, it was for financial income because I was living as a missionary in El Salvador. And now that we are living in the States, I live in Florida. Um, this is my full-time job. This is what I do full-time. It's my full-time income. And so my why is to provide for my family and also to never work for anyone else. <laughs> I do not like working for someone else and I do not like working in an office. And so I'm so excited that I get to wake up every day and be excited what, about what I do. So I wanna tell you guys what happened, why I started creating better material. So I would say probably um, a few months ago, I stumbled upon another presenter's video and she uh, was showing her party script. And I was blown away. I was like, oh my gosh, her, her pictures are so good. And um, they're very high quality. And I could tell that she really put in the time and effort to grab everyone's attention. So at first I kind of wanted to message her and be like, hey, can I steal your images? You know how we all do that? We see a great picture and we want to say, hey, can I borrow that? But I stopped myself and I said, okay, I could copy her image or I could try to create my own and mimic what she did. So I um, basically took screenshots of her pictures throughout the video and I, um, I decided I was going to try to mimic her pictures and the quality of her images. And that's where I am today. So I want to let you guys know that you guys can create your own images. You don't have to borrow or copy everyone else's. You can create your own, use their idea as an inspiration, and then put your face on it, okay? Because people wanna see you, they don't wanna see a stranger that they don't even know. Um, so when that sparked 
my imagination. I had, my parties weren't doing that good at that moment. I was kind of in a rut. I felt like my party script was kind of boring, even though I change it all the time. And I wanted to try something new. So I told myself, okay, these parties are going to be better. They're going to be better quality. And I'm going to take the time to make sure that I am offering something amazing. So I put myself to work and I worked really, really hard to create high quality images that would attract people's attention. And guess what? I got a really, really good response. People throughout my parties would message me and be like, oh my gosh, I love your party. It's so informational. I love your images. I feel like you're not like any other presenter. You're so different. Um, just like the professionalism of what you're putting out is so good. And I had never had people messaging me. Someone just called me out of the blues. They're like, hey, can you call me? And over the phone, she gave me this compliment. No, no one had ever done that before. So I realized that putting in that extra effort to put out a great quality image made a huge difference and made people notice. And people were even complimenting me on that. So yes, it took a little more time, but in the end, people started to see me as more professional and more put together. I feel like my, hold on, just want to see, make sure it's clear. Okay. So that is why I started doing it. When you have a professional image and you start to put together um, great quality photos, I feel like people will take you more seriously. And so that's why I think it's such a great idea to put in the little extra effort and be creative to make great quality images for your parties and for your Facebook wall, okay? Because you don't want people to keep scrolling. I just wanna put a little tidbit in there. Do not post pictures of products. Even when unique, like for example, the door her bundle or the eyes bundle, whatever it is, do not post pictures of just the bundle because that speaks nothing. If no one knows about unique products, they see these bottles and they have no idea what they do. So put your face on the picture, put your face on it somehow to show them what the product actually is. Okay, because if I saw a jar of the mask, I would have no idea what this is if I was not a unique presenter. But if you have a picture of yourself wearing the mask and you show the bundle with that, then people all of a sudden know, oh, okay, so that's a mask that she's talking about. All right, so put your face on these images. All right, so let's see here. I made notes <laughs> to make sure that I go through everything correctly. Um, all right, so here we go. I'm going to tell you guys, show you guys how I do these images. I'm going to give you guys two examples, and I'm going to do them with you here on camera, okay? <laughs> so I'm going to, it might take a little longer, but I'm going to show you guys step by step, so then you can go and play around with it later. Um, so the first thing I want to suggest is, of course, the images I showed, they have a picture of my face. So you want to make sure that your photos have good lighting and you want to make sure that you edit your pictures too. So that um, my favorite app is Facetune 2. So you might want to write that down. Facetune 2 is one of my favorite apps for editing photos. And um, you can even blur the background in your photos to make them look a little more professional. Um, so use that. Edit your images, but do not make it look like you edit it so that everything is perfect or photoshopped, okay? <laughs> Just edit it so it has a little better lighting or quality, sharpness, things like that. And then you can use that to put it into what I'm going to show you. The second thing, to remove the background from your pictures. Okay, so people ask me this all the time. If you want to remove the background from your images, what you need to do is if you have PowerPoint, you can go into PowerPoint and add the image, your picture, to PowerPoint, and there is an edit option where you can remove the background using PowerPoint. I don't have PowerPoint, I have a Mac, <laughs> but um, I've done this um, because at my parents' office they have you know, Windows and I've used it before, um, and we have Photoshop on our Mac at home. So if you don't have Photoshop, Another way to kind of get around it is use PowerPoint to remove the background of your pictures, okay? So that's the second thing. If you don't know how to do it, Google it or look on YouTube, okay? 
I don't have time to tell you guys how to do it because I don't have it on my computer. But if you just type in how to remove background on PowerPoint, it will pop up on YouTube. All right, so let me show you guys some of my images and um, so you guys can see some ideas and then I'll show you guys what we're gonna be doing tonight. So I'm gonna share my screen here. All righty, here we go. Okay, here is my screen. Um, let me just minimize some of this stuff. Okay, and minimize that. So I'm gonna show you guys some images, okay? So first, I got some of these ideas from another presenter when I sold her pictures, but then also I get an idea from Pinterest. So you can get a lot of ideas from Pinterest, get the idea, and then make your own. So I'm gonna show you guys some examples of that before we go in and I show you um, how to create it, okay? So let me see here. Let me open these two. And here we go. So I'm gonna show you guys an example and then I'm gonna show you how I recreated it. So when we had the Flawless 4 bundle last month, I decided, how am I gonna share the Flawless 4? Well, I'm gonna solve everyone's problems. The best way to sell their product is to solve someone's problem and then they'll wanna buy it. So um, someone talked to me and they said, I have a problem with peach fuzz. So I found this on Pinterest and tells you about doing downward strokes instead of upward strokes to um, minimize the appearance of it. And so that was the image I saw. And then this was the image I created on my own, mimicking what I found on Pinterest, okay? So you can get Pinterest, use that as an idea, and then go on canva.com, that is the website I use for my editing, and make your own, just like this. Okay, so that's where I get a lot of ideas. I don't have any background with um, making images, but this helps me kind of brainstorm different ideas. So let me show you one more. Or actually I have, let's see here, this one. And, okay, I'll show you guys this one. Okay. So here's a few more ideas. Okay, so I saw this one because a lot of people don't know how to use their makeup blender or beauty blender. So I found this on Pinterest and I was like, oh, this is such a good idea. And so what I did is I created my own and I actually took out the egg. I edited and I actually cropped out this egg to actually use it in mine. But I used the same thing. I just took a picture of myself with the beauty blender and added the um, how to use it. And that's my image for that. The next one was how to use concealer, okay? So I found something like this. Um, I think there was actually another image I found too. And then I created something like this. So how to use your concealer. And um, so that's where I got my ideas for these images. Now I'm gonna show you guys the two images we're making tonight. Who's excited? All right, so let me show you guys what we're making tonight. We're gonna make these two images here. All right, so this is about me image. I use this in my um, parties. And this is what I use, it's a pre-party post. So it's before I even invite the hostess. I have a few things posted so people can see something about me. So this is one of them and it just has a bite about me. And in this post I tell them I love coffee. Um, this is not supposed to say my four kids, it's supposed to say travel. So travel my hubby and Florida is where I live so we're gonna be doing this one I'll show you guys how to create this one and then we're also going to make this one which is how to um, apply your eyeshadow okay and so this is um, just palette number one and I'm going to show you guys how to create this because with the eye bundle this month it would be great to show people a step-by-step -step on how to do it so with your images, it's always fun to create like a how-to, how to do this um, with a picture of the product because then people will know how to use it and they're more likely to buy it, okay? So let's go in and create our images. We're going to go, okay. So the website you're going to go to is called canva.com. It's almost like canvas, but without the S, canva.com. All right, I wanna make sure that everyone's good. Okay, canva.com. So you go on to canva.com 
And if you look here, there is all these kinds of designs you can choose from. And hold on, it's kind of hard with all of my little pop-ups. Um, and you can also use a custom dimension. Um, and when you go on here, there's also other templates that you can choose from, but these are like the main ones that I like to use. So the main one I like to use is presentation, this one, or Facebook post. Those are the best sizes that I like to use for um, Facebook. Okay, so let's see here. Let me make sure, okay. So I open up a presentation and this is what it looks like. Let me make sure that I just move this over a little bit. Okay. All right. All right, so the first thing that you want to do is upload the images that you want to use. So I, you can click here and upload the images from your, your Facebook or from your desktop, whatever you need to use, okay? I've already uploaded the images to save us a little bit of time. Okay, so we're going to do the about me picture first. All right, so we've uploaded all of the images. Now, I want to have that little banner across the top that says about me. So where you're going to find a little banner like that, you click elements. And then there's all, there's all these different things you can use. I like to use shapes to create my banner and a square. Okay, and then you're just going to position it where it needs to be. Hold on. That's so much better. Okay. So however long and big you want it to be, and then you click the square right here and you can choose the color that you want it to be. If you want it to choose a different color, you can go all throughout all these different colors, basically endless options for whatever color you want it to be. Okay, so we have the banner set. The next step is to add the wording. So you click text and we're gonna add the wording. And then we want it to say about me. And there are several options for different fonts. One of the ones I love is called Bebas Nua. I don't know how to say that. But we're gonna choose that one and you get to choose the size. So let's choose a big size. And then you also get to choose the font color. Let's make that white. Now here's something that I just recently found out. You can change the spacing of the letters so that they're more spaced out. So if you do this, it's gonna space out the letters more, and then you can make them closer together. So that's something fun you could do. All right, so now we have the, the top part, the banner done, and we can go into the next part. Okay, so the next part is me in the middle. <laughs> now you guys know that um, with this, I removed the background with PowerPoint. Okay, so make sure you use PowerPoint to remove your background. And so that's the picture of me. And then I actually found some pictures. I love coffee, so I basically Googled on, on I looked on Google and just Googled coffee and found this image. So I'm just going to crop it so it just shows the coffee cup. I don't really need all of it. Okay, so I love coffee, have that. I love to travel, so I just Googled travel and I found this image. So find out what you love and you know, people wanna know a little about you so that they can relate to you. So finding images, finding things that people can relate to you, um, things that you love, things that you like to do. Okay, so you have those two. Um, and then I also did the picture of our wedding. So you just want to crop it. So every time I, I put in a picture, I'm just clicking crop and then check mark when I'm done. Now there are filters that you can use on these images, but you know, the, I don't really use a lot of the filtering on here because I don't really like them. They're not that great. Okay, I wanna make this a little bigger of an image. Okay, and then the last one is um, the beach, but I can't find that one, so I'm just gonna use this one because I can't find my, my foot pick. So I'm just gonna take it from here. Okay, 
So there we go. We kind of have all of our images in place. Now, one thing I would suggest for this is kind of see if you can get them around the same length so that they look like they're all the same height and width and everything. Um, that's gonna make it look very more cohesive as a picture. All right, so we can edit a little bit of the, um, the size and everything like that in a bit, but I think it looks good how it is right now. Now, here's another thing. I found this little swivel thing. I Googled dotted line or dotted circle on Google. Now, if you want to find an image that does not have a background on Google, you want to say dotted image or dotted line P N G. Okay, so let me show you. This is Google, and I typed in dotted line P N G, and these are some options. When you click it, you know it's going to have a clear background if you see it look like that on the background. If it has a little checkered background like that, that means that it has no background to it, and that is um, just the dotted line. So you can also do this for unique products. So for example, if you want like, let's see here, the um, 3D mascara PNG, okay, usually, See how the background's checkered? So this is, has no background to it, okay? So if you add this to an image, it's only gonna have the mascara, it doesn't have any background to it. Alrighty. So that's how you get an image without any background on it from Google. All right, so let's go back to my design. All right, so there you go. So we have this little one. We're just going to position it. Then you can copy it to add another. All right, now here's the thing that you can do. If this is supposed to be behind me, you click Arrange and you click Back. And that's how you can move things back and forward if you want something to be behind something else. All right, so let's copy this one again. Oops, not me. Let's just add another one, okay, to the other side. Just like that, and put it to the back, add another one, and see how easy this is to do once you have all of the images and idea, and it's actually a lot of fun to come up with some of your own images. Now the last thing I would do is add the wording, so go back to text, and click a new text, and let's say coffee, all right, and then we just find you know, whatever font you want to use. There's so many options, and it's a lot of fun to kind of go through and just see what you want to do. All right, so we need to bring this down a bit and change the color of coffee. Let's do hot pink because it's fun. All righty. And then you can actually just copy that and do travel. So think of you know, what you like to do and what you would like to find pictures of. If you have pictures of you, just make sure that they're good quality, that people can actually see what it's supposed to be. Um, if they can't really tell what it's supposed to be, it kind of makes it harder. Good quality images. Hobby. And the last one is Florida. Alrighty. So there is the first image. Now, like I said, the last thing I would do is probably edit these to all kind of be similar sizing. So it looks like it's balanced. And then also you wanna make sure this is behind me. All right, so there is the first image, you guys. Um, and that is the about me. Let me make sure that I, okay. Awesome. One more thing I want to show you guys that you could do. So you have all of these options. There's so many options on here, guys, for you to play around with it. This is another option, which was really fun when we had the trunks. I made up like a little trunk race. Um, these are all frames. So let me show you guys. Like the um, phone that I did for the advertising. 
I use this image and you just throw um, your, your picture into that. And then also if you want like a circle, let me show you guys. If you want this one, okay? And then you get a picture of you. Let me find a picture of me. Oh, there's me. And you throw it on and look. Now I have a frame. So there's different frames and different sizes and you can change the um, circle, you know, the, the border to that. So you could even, watch this. Let's take me out, put a picture of you here in the middle, okay, to all those swivels, if you don't have a silhouette of you. And there you go. Look at that fun little image that I just created. It's very informational. People know a little bit more about me, right? All right, so there is the first image for you guys. So that is the first one. Now let's go into the second one. Um, I'm going to see, should I open it up for any questions um, right now? Let me see here. And... I don't know how to open the chat. <laughs> Oh, goodness gracious, Bethany. Oops, someone raised their hand. I don't, okay, hold on. Give me a second, you guys. Give me a second. Oh, stop share. Okay, here we are. <laughs> okay, awesome. So if you have a question just about that, okay, we're going to go to the next image next. You can type it in the chat window. If you guys want to do that, um, type it in the chat window and I can answer any question you might have right now. Um, thank you, Jen. So I am going to try to make sure that I go through some of the other details, even if it doesn't have, you know, doesn't, isn't included in the second image. So you guys know some of the other tools that you can use on Canva. Okay, so we talked about that. Yes. Awesome. Okay, so there's a few more things I'll share for the second image. Um, the app is called Facetune 2. It's an app on your phone to edit your, your personal pictures. Okay, to remove the background, you use PowerPoint on your computer. And if you don't know how to remove the background, look on YouTube how to remove the background on PowerPoint. Okay. Any other questions before I go to the second one? Yay, I'm so excited. Now all of you guys have to go and look on Pinterest and find all these amazing ideas, right? All right, awesome. Looks like that's all the questions for now, so now I'm gonna show you guys the second one and then we'll open it up for questions again. All right, here we go. All right, so the second one is the um, eye picture, okay? Eyeshadow 101. So we wanna go and add the banner again. So you go to Elements and you click Shapes and then you get your square and you can put position it and then color it whatever color you want it to be, okay? Now, what I like to do for my parties is I like all of it to be cohesive, to look like it has a theme throughout it so that people feel like it runs smoothly together. So what I like to do for my parties is I actually make it look like um, the same coloring for each image. So I'll use the same coloring for the banner and same coloring for the font. So each image kind of goes throughout the party in a similar cohesive thing. All right, so then we want to get some wording and say eyeshadow 101. All righty. And then go back to my favorite font. <laughs> but play around with it. Find what your favorite font is, okay? This is my favorite, but you can have your own. And we want this to be white. Ta-da! Beautiful, right? Um, another thing you could do, like with the banner, you can actually change the transparency of your images. So this is for the, um, the transparency. 
So if you want something to be a little more transparent, you could do that or you could lay a banner over a photo and have it a little more transparent. So that's another option you could do. Okay, so let's upload my image, which is this one. And we're gonna crop it. So this is just a picture I took of my eye. And what I did is I blurred out the background on um, Facetune, so it just focused on my eye and everything else is blurred around it. Let's see. How much of this do I want? Alrighty, so we're gonna have that. I found the um, palette one on Google. So you're gonna get palette one. Okay. Let's make this a little bigger. And then also I want something behind that. So I'm just going to make that the same color. And look, click arrange and you can move it to the back very easily, just like that. And then I'm just moving this around. Okay, so then we have a little bit of a background to that. All right, so let me just see. I wanna make sure that I'm copying the image I already did. So this is what it's gonna look like in the end. Um, so you guys can see it. All right, so this is what it's gonna look like in the end. Alrighty, so now we have a little bit of something to go by. All right, so let's go back to our picture. I guess mine is a little more purple today. <laughs> All righty, so let's move these over a little bit. All right, so now the difficult part here is um, adding the little numbers and the little dotted lines onto my eye. Now I found the dotted lines once again, Google dotted line PNG. So let's go here. This is a curved line. So I Googled curved line PNG, curved dotted line. Okay, so this is gonna be for the crease. So we're gonna have this in the crease. We don't really need all of this. So you can even crop your PNGs as well. Okay, so this is the crease dotted line. Okay, and then here's another dotted line to create that V shape in the outer corner of your eye. Just think of whatever you're, you're gonna explain for your image of however you applied your product. That's where you would apply these lines to kind of show them where you did it. Copy that. And we're gonna do another one down here. Okay, so the reason why I'm making a V shape is because I tell them that you apply the dark shade in a V shape in the outer corner of your eye. You can also move an image by um, using your arrows. You can use your arrows to kind of move it down and around. Okay, so you can do something like that. Um, and then you can put some numbers. So let's add some numbers to this. So we're gonna do one. Let's make this a little fatter so we can see it. Okay, and a little smaller. So this could be one, and then you wanna match that to whatever um, shade you used. Okay, hold on. Let me move you guys down. Hold on. Okay, so then copy that, and we're gonna move that to here. And I think it looked better if I made this white so it stands out a little more. See that? Okay, and then you can do another number. So if you applied here, you applied brassy. So let's say this is two. Then you can copy that and put that where brassy is. Make that white. And then let's say you use the corner color you use swanky, 
So let's say this is three and then copy that and say this is three. Just like that, okay? So then there is a little eyeshadow 101 where you applied your colors and it's so awesome because people can see, hey, this is where I apply the eyeshadow. I could totally use these colors, that's beautiful. Okay, so then now we're gonna give them step by step. So let's say step one. Okay, and let's figure out a font for that. So you can choose a font. That's probably a good size. Let's make that a little bit more gray. Okay, you could do that. Um, we're gonna have several steps, so let's just copy more of these to make it easier. So we're gonna probably have four steps. Step two, step three, step four. Okay, let's see what I said over here. Step one, apply a medium matte shadow to the outer corner and crease of your eye. So apply a medium um, matte shadow to the outer corner and crease. I don't know why I said of your eye because obviously you're putting this on your eye. <laughs> Oh goodness, okay, and then we can kind of just bring this together. Okay. And kind of we'll have to move stuff around to you know see how everything will fit. Now watch this, you guys. You see how this is very spaced apart? You can actually change the height of the words. So watch, see how it goes closer together? So now we have more space for everything else. Awesome! And you can also make it so that all the wording is um, aligned to the left, just like that. So the second step is use a fluffy brush to blend the shadow in the crease. Okay, so let's copy this. So let's just say, use a fluffy brush to blend the color in the crease and fade up to brow. Sounds good enough to me. So step two is that. And then we can go to step three, which is apply darker shadow in the very outer corner. So let's say apply darker shadow in a V shape in the outer corner. We're almost done. Okay, and then the very last step, apply lighter, lighter shade in the inner corner. So last step, apply lighter, oops, lighter shade in inner corner. Oops, I messed that up again. Alrighty. So one thing I noticed is I can actually bring this over a little bit since there's more space. Oops, probably not that much. And this one a little bit. And this one a little bit. Okay. And they can kind of space them out to give more space to it. But that's pretty much um you know, a little step-by-step -step of what you could do with a picture of you with your eyeshadow, um, with your eyes closed, and this is eyeshadow 101. Another thing that I found, um, I believe this is on Michelle Bell's image library. So if you see this image in some of my pictures, this is where I, I got it from Michelle Bell's library. Um, so you can um, flip pictures like that or like this. Okay, so I like having this sometimes in the background. So if you wanna get this to the background, just keep making it big, and then once it reaches the height of the, um, hold on, let me see here. The, um, once it reaches how big the um, project is, it's going to automatically go to the background. You see how it's in the background now? Yes, 
So that's something that I like to add to the pictures. And once you make it like the size of the, the project, then it automatically goes to the background. So there is the little thing in the back. Um, you can delete that if you don't like it. And let me see if there's any other um, things that I want to show you guys before I end this. Um, you can also, you know, make things bold, change the spacing. Um, and you can add a background if you want to add a background. There's text and then elements. One more thing I like to use within the elements is um, lines. So I'll go into lines and you can add different kinds of dotted lines and things like that. But one of my favorites is the arrows. So using an arrow to draw attention to something. So they have a lot of different kinds of arrows that you could use um, and different uh, kinds of lines and things like that. There's so many different shapes and things you can play with. Um, they do have pre-made layouts. So if you want to go from a pre-made layout, they have several that are free. Um, they do have some that you can pay for, but they have several pre-made layouts if you want to go with that to get an idea, or you can use Pinterest to get your ideas from there too. All right, so now I'm going to open it up for questions again. All righty, questions. Can we watch this later? Yes, I am recording it right now. At least I think I am. Um... All right, so go ahead and post in the chat if there's any questions that you guys have. Any other questions? Yes, Canva is awesome. I've been playing around with it for a while though. I'm gonna be honest. So that's how I know very well around it. I use it almost every single day <laughs> for almost all of my images. Drop downs. Um, Wendy, explain a little bit more what you mean by drop downs. Yes, Renee, and it's free. It's a free source. The ribbon. The ribbon. The ribbon with the spacing changes. What form is for free? Canva. I know it's not for free, baby. Uh, the ribbon, the ribbon. <sighs> no, Ma Marie, I'm not, um, I'm not a graphic artist. I've just played around with stuff. I just play and practice. I think I've been playing and practicing for like a year or a year and a half. And honestly, I think most of my image look great because I see an idea and then I try to mimic it. Okay. So I'm not a great graphic artist, but there's so many great graphics out there. If you look on Pinterest, if you like find a really great person that's great at it and just follow them, then use an idea that they had and make your own. Okay. And it's really easy once you do that. Um, how many hours do you work on this? It doesn't take me very long anymore uh, because I, I've practiced it and done it for so long. It's not like I spent a lot of time the first time. You know, I just did the best I could. When you start, just do the best you can. Don't try to make it perfect. Don't try to make it like me. Do the best you can with what you know. And the more you use it and the more you practice, the better you're going to get at it. So um, the first image I did, it really didn't take me that long because I didn't, I didn't, take forever on it. Now with these last images, I did take my time because I wanted to make sure that I made really good quality images. But when it comes down to it, don't let this prevent you from working your business. <laughs> okay. You want to balance your time between images because sometimes you can focus so much on creating an image that you can miss out on the income producing activities. Okay. Income producing activities are things that are going to make you money these do kind of grab people's attention to make money for you, but you don't want to spend too much time on it. Um, you can save a banner in a sense. Um, so you, once you use these images, they're already saved on Canva for you. So you can go back and edit your template of whatever you have at any time. So all of the things, all the images I've ever created, or saved on there and I can go back at any time and edit the template that I have there. Um, 
you can only do this on desktop. I do believe that they have an app, uh, Katie or Caddy, Katie, I'm guessing. Um, but I haven't used the app yet. I don't think it's as um, friendly as the desktop, but I prefer desktop for creating images. I actually prefer desktop for everything, um, <laughs> to be completely honest, because I can multitask and do several things at once. And on my phone, I feel like so limited to just one task. Um, so yeah. But you can, you can do several, um, you can do it on your desktop and you can save your templates. Any other questions, you guys? This is my favorite, LaCroix. I might have to add this to the about me. Say like coffee and LaCroix are my favorite drinks. So I might have to add that. Okay, so. Here's the thing, you guys. When you are creating your own images, that is making you unique because no one can be you, okay? So just like my images are mine, they're me, you can't be me, so don't try to be me. Be you, and when you create these images, you're branding yourself and you're setting yourself apart because people are gonna notice you. They're gonna notice how you stand out above everyone else because of your images and because of the quality of your work. Um, so a lot of people come to me and they say, oh my gosh, you're so different. And that's because I've branded myself to look different than anyone else. Yes, I take the pictures with my phone first and then I upload them. So all of the pictures I take with my phone, I don't have a fancy phone. I have an iPhone 5S. Okay, so it's not even the new one. <laughs> so I use the iPhone 5S and then I use Facetune 2 if I need to sharpen and edit the image, and then I upload that and um, use my desktop Canva for the putting the images together. Now, you don't wanna make your images too busy. You want to make sure that there is a focus to the image, and that should always be your face. <laughs> your face is always the focus to what you're creating and to um, the process of your images. You don't want there to be too many words. You don't want there to be too many buttons and, and arrows and things like that. Try to make it simple so that when someone sees it, they automatically know what you're talking about and what you're trying to communicate to them. And you want to make people stop for a second when they're scrolling through Facebook and give you one second of their time. And when they see your face on an image and they see the quality and the time that you put into creating it, they're going to give you that second of their time, whereas if it's just a picture of a product that thousands of other presenters are posting, they're not gonna give you the time and they're not gonna stop and listen. So you want to set yourself apart and that's your face. No one can be you, you're special. No one can have your face. Although I heard on Facebook that there is a thing called like twins and there's like five people in the world that look just like you, but what I'm saying is <laughs> no one can be you, okay? Um, any other questions? We're about to wrap up here. Um, I don't want to take too much of your time, but I believe I did record this. Please, God, tell me that I recorded this. Um, it says it's recording. So um, once it's recorded, I will try to post the replay, and um, then you guys can look over it. And as slowly as you need to play through it, if you need to pause it at certain parts, then you can do that, and that will give you the time to practice and try to play with it um, if you need to rewatch or relook a few things that I talked about. Anything else? I think that's about it. If you guys are good. Okay, so here's the last thing. One more thing, you guys, before you hop off. You guys ready? Okay, I have a challenge. Here is your challenge. Okay, you ready? Your challenge is I want you guys to make an about me picture just like I showed you guys tonight. I want you to make your own, okay? And figure out what you want to share on it. What would be the big things that you want people to know about you and your parties? What is a big thing? Is it your family? Is it your hobbies? Make your about me and I want you guys to post that in your group. Whether that's Looney Lash Ladies, follow your arrow, or if you're on my team, post it in your group. Um, by tomorrow, so by the end of the day tomorrow, if you need tonight and tomorrow or however long, post that image in your group and show everyone what you've learned, okay? So let's put all of these things that we've learned into action and practice them together. And when we see each other's images, guess what? 
we're going to learn a little bit more about each other because we see each other's about me. Okay. So that is your action. Your challenge is to create your own about me and post that in your follow your arrow or looming lash ladies. Excuse me. Awesome. All right. So that is it. You guys, Thank you guys for much, so much for tuning in. I appreciate you guys giving me your time tonight. Um, once again, if you have any questions, um, post that in probably um, when I do the replay. Make sure you watch the replay and make sure that if there's no you know, questions that are answered, that comment on the replay so that I can get back into that later because I promise I won't be able to answer questions through Messenger because I have a lot of messages to go through. Um, so yeah. Post the, the questions on the replay. Make sure you listen to the replay if you have um, the chance to do that. All right. I think that is it. Yay! Thank you guys so much. I hope you guys have a great evening, and I will talk to you guys soon. Go make your images. Bye.